Item 8, City Manager's Report. Mayor and Council, as I was meant, as I was asked before this item to be a brief, I will be as brief as possible. Uh, this is obviously one of the longest city manager's reports going through item H that I've had in a number of months. Um, this upcoming Saturday is the American Heart Association annual uh, Bay Area Heart Walk. We participated last year. This uh, event takes place in chemo, on the Kima Boardwalk Saturday morning, November 9th. Uh, the intent is to raise awareness to fight against heart disease. We had a number of uh, residents and employees walk last year, and we hope to have similar turnouts. Uh, if you're interested in participating or joining the heart walk, the team name is uh, Friendswood Strong. Um, also taking place this Saturday is our annual fall hall over at Centennial Park. I mentioned this during last month's uh, city manager's report. This event is open from uh, 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. and will provide residents the opportunity to dispose of non-hazardous materials, as well as provide op uh, items for a garage sale to benefit Keep Friendswood Beautiful. Ultimately, the funds raised from the garage sale will be put back to maintaining and improving our, our park system. Uh, no hazardous waste will be accepted. We will offer paper shredding uh, from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. Uh, for those that are there in that time period. Um, this upcoming Thursday, November 7th, from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m., we will host our annual Veterans Day luncheon over at the Senior Activity uh, Building on Morningside, 416 Morningside. Uh, we ask that folks uh, that are interested, please come and um, uh, join us in thanking our veterans for their service to our country and uh, remembering those that have since passed. It will take place again November 7th from 11 a.m. to uh, 1 p.m. Coming up December 7th, uh, we will have our annual Flapjack Fun Run at Stevenson Park. Uh, it'll take place from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. Uh, this is a Kids K uh, for kids 12 and under, and uh, also a 5K, which uh, starting at 8.15. Uh, folks that sign up for the race will be, uh, be given a delicious pancake breakfast, hence the name Flapjack Fun Run, and will receive other uh, goodies for their participation. Uh, we typically have a great turnout for these events, and we encourage folks that are interested, are avid runners to please join us for the fun run. Also coming up later this month on November 23rd, Saturday, we will have our annual Blue Santa Shoutout Softball Tournament and Toy Drive. Uh, this is a softball tournament intended to uh, raise uh, or receive donations for the annual Blue Santa program intended to help those uh, less fortunate families, uh, kids mainly, uh, to have a present for Christmas time frame that wouldn't otherwise receive it. Uh, teams must register by November 19th, and it's open to adult co-ed and men's D divisions um, for softball, Saturday, November 23rd. Also taking place is the Friendswood's annual food drive in support of Mary Queen uh, Food Pantry. Uh, it's running this entire month of November. Uh, if uh, folks are encouraged to bring non-perishable, non-expired food items to the lobby of the Friendswood Library and receive up to $5 of uh, their fines being waived at the library. So for the council members that have the biggest fines, I'd encourage you to bring all the non-perishable items you can. You can. Yeah. Um, text dot. Earlier this evening, you received comments related to a large oversized vehicle traveling through Friendswood. Uh, I will state that uh, despite the the oversized load being permitted. TxDOT themselves stopped the route uh, due to logistical issues with FM 518. It was not the city of Friendswood, our police department. The route unfortunately decided to come through Friendswood down 2351 in the midst of rush hour traffic, causing delays of great in excess of an hour, causing us to call in midnight shift early so that we can provide detours for those motorists trying to get home at the end of the day. Uh, there was one reported incident, incident of someone's uh, Astro's feed being cut in the midst of this and they weren't happy. We got a call about it the very next day. Um, we had another oversized load scheduled to come through this past weekend and then one come through again today and it did go down 528 today. Uh, as this is becoming more commonplace, I mentioned to council last week that these type of uh, loads are not permitted by the city of Friendswood. Rather, they're, they're permitted through the Texas Department of Motor Vehicles and they're blessed by the Texas Department of Transportation. Unfortunately, a number of times these routes are blessed uh, by simply reviewing uh, paper plans and no one physically driving the route to verify the validity or the feasibility of these routes. 
Uh, as you know, they cause quite a bit of impact to our daily commuters uh, in and out of the community. Um, and unfortunately, in the midst of rush hour traffic, either in the morning or the PM, or when school's letting out, it's not the ideal time to have traffic at a standstill for a number of reasons, uh, not to mention for emergency response uh, capabilities. Uh, staff is evaluating the establishment of a curfew. Uh, some cities have taken it upon themselves to limit the, the, the movement of these type loads to the evening hours uh, where there's uh, less traffic uh, on the roadways. If council is so inclined, we'd be happy to, to pursue such a curfew. Uh, ultimately, we'd have to still defer to the Texas Department of Transportation and Texas Department of Motor Vehicles to adhere to our curfew, but if that is a desire of councils, we can definitely look into that. I see a lot of nodding of the heads. Okay. All right. Um, lastly, the Hurricane Harvey recovery. Uh, you heard earlier tonight the, the mention of tomorrow's bond election. For those that have not voted, I encourage folks to get out and vote. Um, the city continues to move forward with our hazard mitigation grant program buyout application. Uh, appraisals have just about been complete. We have not received them yet on the 26 homes that were on that in that program. Uh, we are still waiting word on our flood mitigation uh, acquisition through the Texas Water Development Board and also uh, another application that we're contemplating with them, as well as through the Community Development Block Grant Program to acquire some properties along Clear Creek uh, in an effort to do some further shelving and uh, terracing of Clear Creek, similar to what the Galveston County Consolidated Drainage District is currently doing at 2351 at Clear Creek. Uh, staff has met twice this past three weeks with Harris County Flood Control District on projects on the Harris County side of Friendswood and is actively pursuing a potential partnership on some of those properties in the very near future. As those uh, projects are formalized, we'll be bringing interlocal agreements to the City Council for your consideration. And that's all I had.